previously on Reaper. Parents sold my soul to the devil, and I'm a bounty hunter for hell. You can tell Andy? No, I'm not gonna tell Andy. If she knows, she'll think I'm a freak. She'll never go out with me. Flowers aren't for me, Ted. Oh, they're from Greg. I know you've been distracted by all this Greg business, so I took the liberty to dig up some dirt on him. Yeah, well, you know, Greg's dating twins, okay? Two slutty twins. They're his sisters. Someone gave me the wrong information. Who? Who would say that? These are all about the World Trade Organization, the G8 Summit. Wait, what was this soul gonna do? Sam, Sam, can I have this after we capture him? Suck! Hey, who's out there? This is a private residence. I don't think you can be in here. Leon, get out here! Uh, listen, I I'm all better now. I I'm not killing anybody anymore. We can see your wall of insanity, okay? We, we know what you're planning. No, no, that's my thought board. My therapist told me to make it. Do we have to come in there or are you gonna come out? Well, okay then. Oh! I want you guys to know, I worked very hard on my psychological health. So what I'm about to do is very difficult for me. It's really gonna hurt my heart. There is no freaking way I'm going back to hell! Yeah! Person, but I kind of like knocking the soul off first thing. Get the rest of the day to myself. I knew that guy was going down easy. He came out, we sucked his ass up, and boom, end the story. Suck, like we almost got killed. <sighs> Whatever, we've almost been killed way worse than that. Uh, Sam? Where's Gladys? Can I help you? Yeah, is Gladys here? On vacation. Uh, do you know when she'll be back? No. Is there something I can help you with? Um... That? I, I, I'm just wondering if you want to take that. Do I want your snow globe? I, I mean, is, it, is there a place where stuff like this gets turned in? Sir, this is the Department of Motor Vehicles. Right, right. Is there anybody else who could maybe help us? Roger. Do you want his snow globe? Yeah, I'll take that. <clears throat> I, I, I'm just gonna come back another time. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Halloween is an extremely important holiday to me. The one time a year when a person allows his feelings to take flight. His wishes and desires are known to the world. Ted, uh, you do realize Halloween is still two days away. Halloween is not a day, OK? It's a season. Which brings me to my special treat. Who wants to be our lucky pumpkin, huh? Oh, come on, guys. You get to dress up as a beautiful pumpkin and bring joy to children and pass out coupons. You're not going to be the pumpkin sock. Racist. Andy. Andy. You should be honored to wear this pumpkin. I, Wearing this pumpkin ow. leads oh, to bigger and better you? things. I mean, Andy. Look at me. Look Andy, where I come am. on. Andy, yes, you can be the pumpkin. No, I, you know, I really don't want to be the pumpkin, Ted. I'll, I'll be the pumpkin. I'll, me, not her. I, okay. Sorry, Andy. I guess Sam wants it more than you. Okay, I got something seriously cool to show you guys. Ready? Oh, sock. Sock. 
Stop messing with the vessel. Shh, shh. Okay, do it. Uh, what do you want me to say? It talks. Wow. I know. I know I heard it coming from Sam's locker. How'd you get into my locker? Huh? Oh, bolt cutters. Look, I think I'm gonna hide it in Ted's private bathroom so he thinks the toilet's talking to him. What do you think? No, we're not doing that. I'll do that. Just leave it alone, okay? We don't want to break it. Listen, I was just wondering, uh, any chance I can get out of here for therapy at 3 today? No, I'm not letting you out. I well, why not? Uh, let's start with the original problem, Leon. You were an assassin. You mean shooting President McKinley? Are you gonna hold that against me? Yes, yes, I am. That was a hundred years ago. I'm completely over that now. I, I've been out of hell over a year. I haven't tried to hurt anybody. You shot at us. Self-defense. Leon, you're going back to hell. Do not oh, touch him. Oh, oh, come on, Sam. Why are you doing this? Why do you care? Because he's the devil's bounty hunter. Oh, you got that right, Sock. This guy really does have a stick up his ass. <laughs> stick up my ass? What are you talking behind my back? No, no, it was a joke. I... <laughs> but doesn't every good joke have a grain of truth to it? Don't touch it. Hey, what's up? Stock in the candy, huh? Yep. All right, is that what we're doing now? One word answers? Andy, uh, come on, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean to sabotage you and Greg. I, I'm sorry I even got involved. I, I was just, I was truly just trying to be your friend. What can I do to make this up to you? I'll do anything, name it. I just can't. Can't what? Yeah, it's not what you said about Greg, okay? It's what that said about us. And if you could do something like that, then maybe our friendship isn't what I thought it was. Honestly, I just really don't know how to be friends with you anymore. Well, that's a problem. I just, I can't. I can't. Hello, Spike. <sighs> Perfect timing, because my data didn't suck enough yet. Surprise. All right, what's up? Very little. OK. This is going to sound weird, but are you all right? Holidays always depress me, Sam. Holidays? What, Halloween? I thought you'd love this time of year. I detest it with every fiber of my being. Now, back when it was the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. Now that, that was a holiday. Dead rising from their graves, damaging crops, causing trouble. Good times. But now you hate it. It's the commercialization of evil. The one day when not a soul on earth fears me or even believes in me. I become a party gag, a plastic mask. It's only one day out of the year. What, are you trying to make me feel better, Sam? Yeah, I guess I am. Weird. In any event, I let hell take a holiday on Halloween. Then everything grinds to a halt. Paperwork gets backed up. A few days vacation sets me back 100 years. It's a nightmare. That's why I couldn't turn in Leon. The DMV demon was on vacation. <laughs> the whole thing makes me sick. You want to hear a really scary story? Mm. 
This used to be a slaughterhouse. Turn of the century, they were butchering a thousand head of cattle a day. And when it rained, the streets would run red with blood. Then in the 1940s, a serial killer terrorized this neighborhood under the cover of night. He chose easy victims. No runaways, vagrants, prostitutes, and he brought them all here. They called him the Butcher. And this little guy, he was on the torture team for the Butcher down in hell. Spike may not look like much, but can he make grown men cry? So the Butcher's on the loose. He's already claimed one victim, and he's gonna try to kill again, here. Police finally caught the Butcher, but they never found any of his victims. There were rumors about what he did with the bodies. crying her eyes out on the inside, man. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Oh, come on. You guys can handle this. You made a tiny little mistake. She's got to forgive you sooner or later. She doesn't trust me. She thinks I'm a liar. I can't blame her. Yeah. Oh, here, by the way. Took him with me to trivia night at the bar. What? Dude knows his history. Thank you. You're welcome. You took him out with you last night? Are you insane? No, listen, you can't just keep him cooped up in your locker all day and night. It's cruel. Cruel? Suck. He's a murderer. He... It, it was a mistake. I I realize that now. It's all misdirected anger. I, I wasn't mad at President McKinley. I was mad at my father. See, the therapy is working wonders. But last night at the bar, he was totally helping me through all my mother issues. What mother issues? The breastfeeding and how I never wanted to stop. And Leon explained to me that that is okay. I'm okay. And I can help you too, Sam. Uh, tell me about your childhood. My parents sold my soul to the devil. So, oh, uh, well, that's some abandonment and betrayal. And I'm gonna guess there was a lot of bedwetting. Okay. Oh, listen, listen, that, that the, the point is Leon is trying to make himself a better person, okay? He made mistakes. Just, uh, just like, just like you made a mistake. Doesn't everybody deserve forgiveness? Mm -hmm. Sam. Hey Ted. How come you didn't dress up for Halloween? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> the pumpkin costumes in my office, Sam. Thank me later for having it dry cleaned. The last pumpkin was quite the sweaty Betty. <laughs> Scare up some savings at the bench. Scare up some savings at the bench. 30%. I hate this costume. It's so humiliating. Well, I think you look like a very pretty pumpkin. I look like an idiot. No, you don't. You know, Leon said that you might have some self-esteem issues, and I can clearly see that now. Enough with Leon already. Scare up some savings at the bench. He's right, though. Look at you. You're embarrassed. You're all afraid that people look you in the eye. This is not the Sam I know. You know, <laughs> thank you. Not helping. You know what? You are letting the pumpkin own you. You need to own the pumpkin. You own the pumpkin. Excuse me? You own the pumpkin. I would kill to own the pumpkin, OK? I would kill somebody to be in your place right now. Embarrassment does not compute up here, Sam. Matter of fact, <clears throat> just think about getting into my Halloween costume right now. Sock, now, what are you, what are you doing? Getting into my costume, I just told you. <clears throat> I am underwear man. I'm underwear man. Give me the flowers, give me, give me. Listen to me, Sam. Listen to me. If someone tries to humiliate you, all you need to do is just look that person in the eye and humiliate them right back. Show me the cat's nuts. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Watch this. Hi there. Welcome to the Workman Chappie on the way. Tell 
totally dominate that guy. See, it's that easy. Feel better about being the pumpkin? Yeah, yeah, I kind of do. It's actually kind of liberating. I can feel every little breeze. Just check it out. Come on, come on. All right, time to open it up. What is it? Some kind of thermometer. It's a meat thermometer. You can stab it into a pot roast turkey or something. Right, right. The butcher meat makes sense. The butcher? That's a pretty good name, yeah. If I was a serial killer, I want my name to be something more effective, like Murder Man, Killbot. Well, it seems user-friendly. You stab it in the soul's trachea, no problem. What's with the hellhound? I think he's supposed to help us find the soul. So, how do we nab the butcher? Find his hideout. I don't know what the devil took me last night, but for a change, he gave me a lot of background on the guy. Good, so let's look him up. We need the computer. No. Hey, they got some candy out front. You want some candy? Don't care. All right, I tried. Come on, you're out of here. Tight, Ben. Found this on a serial killer website. Barney Kirkwood, AKA the Butcher of Ballard. A particularly brutal killer active in the 40s nearly escaped prosecution because the bodies were never found. Yeah, that's him. That's who the devil was talking about. Now, they think he chopped up his victims and fed them to his dogs, and that's gross. Yeah. Right, so you're supposed to be the helper, huh? Where is he? He is called the Butcher of Ballard, and Ballard is only a few miles away. Let's go. Yeah, let's do it. No, I think we're wrong. This isn't where the devil took me. It looks completely different. I don't know. Then if he's in another neighborhood, we're screwed. Oh, look at that. Cashman, I seen leaving work at the flower market two nights ago. Hmm. Wait a second, this is it. This is where he took me. You think he still got the missing girl? Doubt it. He said he already killed once. But he's coming back tonight. Thank God it's not a full moon tonight. Yeah, I would hate to have to catch the butcher under a full moon. Mm -hmm. It's getting late. We should head. Have you seen Sock? No, he disappeared as soon as we got back. <laughs> hey. Hey. What's up? What? Nothing. I was just remembering a really funny thing that happened. Oh, yeah? What? It, I was just... Having a private moment, a little joke for myself. You have brain damage. Maybe. <laughs> All right, probably. All right, so go on. So Ted hears my voice coming out of his toilet, and he says, God, is that you? And I said, yes, Ted, this is God. And I've got Abe Lincoln with me, and we both think you're a huge douchebag. Then. He started crying, going, oh, oh, honest day, please forgive me. So what's the butcher look like now? I don't know. What is it? What is it? Follow. Oh, is going nuts. Follow. Oh, Sam, was that you? You playing a joke? Yeah, that's not funny. What are we gonna do? Oh, I gotta stab it. Oh, 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 Sam. Sam, Sam, what do we do? I don't know. Do I think it's close do? enough, but I. But that's insane, Sam. Just, just wait. Maybe it went away. Maybe yeah. thinks we left. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, buddy. 
Oh my god, you are number one. You are the champion. Oh. I've never been so afraid in my entire life. What was it? The butcher. Hell must have turned him into some kind of dog monster or something. Pretzels for the hero, huh? You saved our asses. Take that, take that. You know, I'm gonna have to get up close and personal with that thing if I'm ever gonna catch it. That's suicide. Tell me about it. I have an idea. You were gonna hate this idea, but... Tell me anything right now. All right, I say we ask Leon for help. No, no. Why, Sam? He wants to help us. He knows things. He's an escape soul, too. You brought him? What? He waited in the car. He's fine. Now, listen, listen, Leon. Leon, just tell him what you told me. Go. I was just saying, I think I know this butcher guy. He used to hang with some friends of mine. Right, right. All the bazillions of people in hell, and you know this guy. The one guy we're looking for. Sam, I can tell you're under a lot of stress, and that must be difficult. Stop talking. Why, Why do you listen to this guy, huh? Why, do you have a better plan, Sam? Sam, maybe we should really consider letting him help us. I mean, maybe he's really rehabilitated. Ben, what are you, come on. Even God forgives sins. I mean, and if you're truly repentant, if you're truly changed, I mean, is it fair that you spend an eternity in hell? I can't believe it. I can't believe this. Leon is going back to hell, okay? Tonight, period. Excuse me, hi. I, I need someone to take this soul. Can, uh, can you send someone out, please? No, no, hey, listen, I need some, I need somebody to take this soul. I'm, I'm gonna kill him. Can you, can you get the devil for me, please? I just need to talk to the devil. What do you do? No. <sighs> Have you ever thought about some anti-anxiety medication, Sam, or, or yoga, or maybe journaling? I mean, that's Shut a- Shut up. <laughs> oh, don't look so surprised. You're the one that wanted to talk to me. Can you, can you go? Oh, please, with the modesty. I'm like a doctor, Sam. It all looks like raw meat to me. <sighs> oh! Hey, listen, as a friend, I gotta tell you, you're losing it, man. Take him to hell. Please take him away. There's nobody down there to give him to. You just have to wait till Halloween's over like everybody else. Just one more day. Well, can you just hold on to him until then? What's the big rush? He won't stop talking. He's making me fight with my friends. I just, I really need him to go away. How's the girl? She's not talking to me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sam, if I can impart to you one piece of knowledge, just one kernel of truth that I've gleaned over the entirety of my existence, it would be this. Betrayal is the defining trait of humanity. Your friends will always let you down. The girl will always leave. It's not true. Yes, it is. And your so-called friends are proving my point. You know, you're not angry at Leon. You're just upset because you're realizing the weakness of your species. The most untrustworthy and unreliable creatures on this earth. Except for bears. I know this is a hard lesson for you to take, and I'm sorry to have to be the one to teach you, but it's best you understand now. You know, in a way, I'm the most trustworthy person you know. And that's just sad. Oh, goody midnight. Happy Halloween. Mm. Happy Halloween! Scare up some savings at the bench. You want to squish? No, you don't want to scare up any Hey, Andy. Hey. You want a break? Uh, no, Ted wants you to go to the loading dock when you're done help with the shipment. Oh, OK, great. Wait, uh, are, are you going to any Halloween parties tonight? Because I was well, thinking. You know, I, I think that we should just talk about work stuff only from now on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah, let's talk about work. I have a couple beers. I can practice my sales pitch on air conditioner filters. I think it might change the way you look at the world. No, Sam. 
work talk should stay at work because those are the new rules. I, I think those rules are stupid. Okay, well, it's not about what you think, Sam. Why not? Andy, why not? gone, he got out. Okay, okay. Don't be mad, all right? Stick him up. Hi, Sam. Did I scare you? Say you're sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm here to help. Hey, guys, guys, everything's cool. No, everything's no, cool. No, not everything is cool. What is wrong with Sam, you? Sam, I said don't be mad. And I said do not touch him. Oh, God, you see, guys, when we play the blame game, stop, like stop, this, nobody... stop with the stupid therapy crap, okay? Sam, he is trying to help us. Okay, sock, sock, my man. Listen, I mean, I am Sam's responsibility. You know what? How about, how about I prove myself to you? How are you gonna do that? Well, you know, this guy that you're after mainly attacks at night. My theory is. He's a day sleeper. So? So you find him during the day when he's sleeping, get the element of surprise, boom, you've got him. And you know what, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, I'll go get back in that vessel myself, okay? No complaints. And if I'm right, we'll work out, you know, what my reward is. I'm bringing the vessel. One stupid move and you're going back inside. I'm. Let's go for a ride. So, you guys been friends a long time? Oh, guys, this makes me sad. I feel like I'm the source of all this conflict. Can you please just stop talking? You know, I just, I just feel like, oh, here it is. It's coming up right up here. A Chinese restaurant? The soul is at a Chinese restaurant? Hey, it's not that easy. I mean, I gotta... You know, talk to my people, find out where he is. And, and, um, I should probably go in alone. You know, being seen with Hell's Bounty Hunter might be a little bad on my street cred. You understand, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Hey, oh, Leon, God, grab me some Mushu, would you? Leon! Never mind. I'll just starve. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. No, 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 no. Hey, listen, if he wanted to escape, he would have as soon as I let him out of the vessel. Just sit tight. He's trying to help us, trust me. No, Sock, clearly I can't trust you. Why? Why will you not just give him a chance? He didn't let him out to give him a chance. He let him out because he thought he was funny. Well, all right, okay, maybe that did play into my decision on that, all right? But I just think... No, Sock, you don't think, okay? You never think. You play with the hula doll and almost get us killed. You spend more energy trying to fit 75 gumballs in your mouth than help me. It's not cute anymore, okay? It was 100 gumballs. 100. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Leon needs a nap. Oh, where's the butcher? Uh, oh, um, do you know how to get to the uh, pleasure pit? The strip club? Yes, sir. I got a hot tip. I hate the way you squeak through your nose when you breathe. The stuff you put in your hair makes you smell like a pixie's ass. Your mutant pinky toe, your one bushy eyebrow. And I hate the way you put ketchup on macaroni and cheese every time you eat it. Oh, and you wear mandals. You said the mandals were okay. I lied, Sam. Mandals are never okay. I was being nice. Hey, guys. <laughs> mm -mm. Guys, we got one more stop. We are really close. And, oh, um, could we drop off uh, Cinnamon, her places, on the way? Hi, guys. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think I'm going to catch an X all on my own. I think that's a great idea. Good. Good. Oh, my 
Yeah, hey, I got a line on him. Bring the vessel, it's going down. Well, we're here. Are you kidding me? You took us all over town to bring us back here? Well, I told you, I had to talk to some We've people. We've already been here, Leon. We know this place. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Follow me. <sighs> oh, boom. How'd you know about this place? I told you, man, I know people. Oh, man, oh, he's there. All right, let's do this. You have a flashlight? Of course. Dude, what are you doing? This is not about you, Sock. So, I'm still going to hell after all this is over. Leon, put the gun down, man. You know I have to send you back, Leon. OK, hand over the vessel. What? Oh, oh, oh slow down. This is nuts, OK? Hand it over! Now, get in the hole. That thing will kill us, Leon. No, not you. Just the bounty hunter. Leon, you don't want to do this. I know I don't. That's why I'm going to let Dog Boy do it for me. Sock, come on, stop messing around. Listen, did you really think that I was going to let you put my best friend down that hole by himself? What are you doing? No, if Sam goes in, I'm going in. Sock, don't. Don't, Sam, just stop. Sock, that is... That's a really beautiful gesture. You're really decent, but really stupid. All right, all right okay. Okay. Take it easy. Boy, my therapist is gonna be really disappointed in me. the dog monster. Yeah. I'm glad you didn't get eaten, too. <laughs> uh, all right, let's get out of creepy town. <laughs> okay. Come on. Oh. 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 What are you doing carrying me? Oh. I tell you, as soon as I get my legs sewn back on, I'm treating you to a big, frosty beer product. Wait, what about Leon? Don't worry about that guy. I know exactly where that little traitor is. So my father says, you know, why can't you be more like your brother? 
which that, oh, that just hurt, you know, it hurt. Because my brother ends up being an opium addict, so, you know, that didn't work out very well for him. And plus, like, every time that... Hello? Oh, no. Okay. Security says someone's trying to break into my car. Let me just check on it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. No rush, no rush. <sighs> guys, guys, hey, guys, guys, hey. Oh, wow. Oh, you're alive. That's great. That's therapy, Leon. Therapy, uh, it's a process. <laughs> process, yeah. You got a lot of issues, man. I do, I do, you know? And it's weird because I'm, I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely happy that all of you guys are alive. But then, you know, I'm sad because I'm going back to hell. So I'm, I'm carrying around all these conflicting emotions. Mm. I'm carrying around seven stitches. I wonder what's worse. Oh, yeah, I guess. The, no. No. <laughs> Not this time, bro. Good one. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Here's how it's gonna play, all right? You let me go, and I don't blow your friend's face off. You're not gonna do that, Leon. You couldn't do it before, and you're not gonna do it now. You've been going through therapy, working hard on yourself. You really want your therapist to come in here and find three dead bodies on the floor? Oh, Sam. Put the gun down, Leon. You're not that person anymore. You're right. You got me. I'm s sorry. I didn't. I didn't really want to blow your face off. No problem. I did really want to break your wrist, though. Still might. I, I'm, I'm starting to think I need the structure of hell for a little while longer. You know? I'm gonna work on myself down there for real. Maybe go Freudian this time. Five sessions a week. I'm gonna make you proud, guys. We'll miss you, Leon. Shh. It's our turn. Hey, Gladys. You look rough. Good vacation? We party hard in the underworld. Oh, woman, please. We need to party together. Place the vessel on the mat. Yeah, um, can you take good care of... Oh! Or that, either way. This is farewell, but not goodbye! I made a mistake. I totally admit that, and I've apologized for that on numerous occasions. Sam. I'm not finished. You and I started out as friends. And even if you don't think it was real, I did. I still do. So you have to forgive me, because one mistake is not enough to just throw everything away. Everybody screws up. I will, you will, and I'll probably definitely do it again. But I, I, I really, I miss what we had, and I'm not gonna just let it go that easily, so. You practiced that speech? Oh, uh, yeah, I did. In my car. Really good acoustics. It was good. You know, you usually don't take a stand like that. You're right. I mean, you're absolutely right. You deserve better. Uh, good, great. Uh, I gotta be honest with you. I was completely miserable. I, I, I just... I can't stand being in a fight. I'm so bad at it. I don't know. You're pretty effective with the whole silent treatment. Yeah, but I have a stomach ache all day. So, what should we do? We do what friends do. We, um, get a beer after work tonight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that sounds really good. Yeah. All right. Yes. <laughs> hey. You look happy. Oh, I am. Halloween is over. My demons are back in hell torturing the damned. All's right with the underworld. 
All right, is, is this gonna take long? Ted wants me to get back there and take care of some Thanksgiving stuff. I just wanted to see my favorite employee. You know, you were the only one of a lot of them who actually did his job these last few days. I'm touched, Sam. Great. Why don't you and I go out on the town tonight, huh? We'll get a limo. Can't. I got plans with Andy. Andy who isn't talking to you, Andy? She is now. All right, tomorrow night, then. Meeting Sock. Yeah. All that crap you said about humanity and betrayal and stuff. You're totally wrong about that. Am I? Yeah. You really are negative, you know? It warps the way you see the world. You should think about that a little. Maybe talk to somebody professionally. Anyway, I'm going to go. Good talk. Sam, I invented therapy, OK? So that the wicked could justify their actions. <laughs> Starting to be able to figure out when you're lying as well. <laughs>